You tired of the same old font? Well, get off your asterisk and change it! To highlight important info in your text, put asterisks around any words or phrases. That part will pop in bold. For italicized text, replace the asterisks with underscores. And to get a strike through, put tildes at the beginning and end of the text. Use three reverse apostrophes the same way to get a brand new nano font. Or manage your fonts to improve readability. Go to Settings and find the Font Size feature in the Chat section. Choose between Small, Medium, and Large. Some iPhones have pre-installed fonts for the app. Type whatever you want, highlight the text, and you'll see a pop-up bar. Press the pointer on the right, and there you go! Four new fonts to choose from. To enable fingerprint security in WhatsApp, go to Settings and tap the Accounts button. In the Privacy section, find the fingerprint lock or Touch ID for iPhones. There! Now only you can read your conversations. If you're hiding from someone, you can get rid of that last seen at mark in the privacy settings as well. But if you hide yours, you won't be able to see others' last seen time either. If you're in a group chat and tired of getting random pictures and videos, go to any group settings. Tap the media visibility button and choose no. WhatsApp has temporary stories just like Instagram, and you can hide yours from certain contacts too. Go to Privacy Settings, tap the Status button, and choose who you want to share your stories with. Sometimes you run out of data because you're being sent too much media in the app. Restrict auto-downloading of photos, audios, videos, and documents in the Data and Storage Using section. Switch them all over to Wi-Fi only. If you don't want those blue message red ticks giving you away, disable them in the Privacy Settings. Again, if you turn yours off, you won't see others as well. WhatsApp knows who you talk to the most. Go back to your data and storage usage and open storage usage at the very bottom. Your favorite chat buddy will be first on the list. Okay, you're meeting up with some friends and you just can't find each other in the crowd. Share your live location with your contacts. It'll be updated in real time and can be shared for 15 minutes, 1 hour, or even 8 hours straight. Go to the Notifications section and choose different sounds for your contacts and groups. See, now you'll be able to tell if that's just Aunt Tilda sending cat gifs to your family group again. And if you're tired of those chats, just mute them in the group settings. On iPhones, you can even choose how long you want it to stay mute. 8 hours, 1 week, or if you are really tired, up to 1 year. Now, if you're a champion WhatsApper and scrolling down in search of the chat you need gets tedious, pin the most important ones on top. For iPhones, swipe right on the chat and tap on the thumbtack that appears. For Android, hold down the chat and a menu bar will appear at the top of the screen. The pin is up there. One more function you'll find while swiping right is Mark as Unread. It's handy when you don't have time to reply now, but you don't want to forget to do it later. For Android, hold the chat again and press the three dots in the top right corner. The Mark as Unread button will be in the drop-down menu. Back up your WhatsApp data on the cloud. It's under the Chat section in the Settings. Now, when you click on Chat Backup, you can turn on the auto backup and set it for daily, weekly, or once a month. To find out how long someone's been ignoring you, hmm, swipe the blue ticked message to the left if you're on an iPhone. For Androids, yep, gotta press and hold the message to bring up the three dot menu at the top. It'll be under Info. Now you can see when the message was delivered and when it was read, too. If you swipe the other way to the right on iPhones, you can reply to that specific message in your conversation. Same works for Androids, too. Hey Siri, read my last WhatsApp message. Hey Siri, send a WhatsApp message to Michael. Tell him to grab me a pizza. Yep, your trusted iPhone aid can work the app for you, too. WhatsApp video calling used to allow four people max. Now it's eight. You can fit and tilde this time. Or maybe not. Another perk for iOS users, if anyone puts a date in the chat, WhatsApp automatically underlines it on an iPhone. Tap the underlined date and add it to your calendar. 
You can also transfer almost any file from your PC to the phone and vice versa through the app. Just open WhatsApp Web on your computer. No need to log in. All you do is scan the QR code with your phone. Your conversations will immediately show up on the web page. You just can't send any files over 100 megabytes. Maybe you want an extra copy of a chat. Go to the Contacts info, Export Chat, and choose whether you want the media attached to it or not. Save it to the files, or export via Skype, email, or any option that pops up. Even if you stop using your current phone number, you can still keep your WhatsApp account. Go to Settings, Account, and tap the Change Number section. There! Now your friends will still be able to contact you, even if you have new digits. Switch to Dark Mode. On an Android, go to Settings and then Chats. Under Display, it'll let you select Dark Theme. You can hide specific chats without deleting them altogether. Just archive it. Press the chat and select Archive for Androids. For iPhones, swipe left on the chat to see the Archive button. Whenever you want it back to the main feed, swipe down on your main chat page. The Archive Chats button will pop up at the top. Swipe left and tap Unarchive. WhatsApp lets you delete messages you just sent. It can only be deleted within one hour after you sent it. And if the other person quoted you before you realize you shouldn't have sent that message, you'll have zero luck. Quoted messages can't be unsent. Don't let people around you hear your voice messages. The earpiece actually works for these recordings, just like it would for a phone call. When you're about to listen to a voice message, bring the phone to your ear and enjoy your privacy. You can hide your profile pic from anyone. Go to your account settings, choose Privacy, and select Profile Photo. You can hide it from anyone who isn't a contact or even from everyone entirely. Okay, let's say you're throwing a party, but inviting everyone via a group chat is kind of weird, especially if you don't want to invite a couple of people in that group, like Wendell. Send a private message to all the people you want to be there. To save time, go to Broadcast List in the chat section. Choose the recipients and send the message like normal. Now, if you have too many unread messages, you can quickly clear the count without opening and reading all of them. Press the Edit button in the top left corner and select Read All. Now, clearing and deleting all chats are two different things. Clearing just erases all the stuff inside. The chat will still be in your main feed. Deleting the chats gets them off the main page. If you accidentally deleted or cleared, hopefully you backed up ahead of time so you can restore them. Hey, where'd Matilda go? I'm ready to dance!